Oh, a microphone. Y'all know what I do on that mic. I destroy, I destroy these hoes. Hey, Couture Bays. It's your girl, Britt Brat, going live with the Bree Talk and Bay Squad. We have to talk. Not only do we have to follow up that conversation we had on Friday night, let's talk about Cardi B fighting against these ghost writers, baby, because they keep telling all her tea. But before we get into that, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my fake the vegan water, and let's get into the mess, shall we? Period. What are, uh, can you share some of the artists that you uh, wrote? I can tell you some writing sessions I've been in. Okay. I, that's how you have to do that legally. Um, really? I've been in some, yeah. I can tell okay. you some, yeah. Just, you know, <laughs> just, a, just a couple of writing sessions. I have <laughs> been in writing sessions for Cardi B. Okay. And that's, I'll leave it at that. That was the huge, that was my most biggest opportunity. Okay. Um, and I was the only girl in the room with all the male writers. So, mm. Can you give us an example of what a writing session is like for people who yes. may be curious? Yes. So a writing session, um, you'll get, obviously, you know, your confidential email through whoever you're working with. Or if you have a pub deal or a label deal and they will tell you, like, which label is looking for songs and they'll tell you what type of songs they're looking for, meaning so and so has a 10 song album and it's about to come out. The last two records they wanted to be uh be club boppy fun or a deep record it's like heart bro got dumb to let you know and depend on what your writing cadence is you might get the email like hey it's a session coming in um you want to be a part of it you don't know who you walking in there and sometimes you don't even know the artist that you're mm. writing for sometimes you might have a publishing deal a, a pub deal and get in there and it's like oh yeah you're writing for i don't want to name somebody who writes on themselves but Whoever's been vocal about not writing for themselves, you might come in and be like, "Who who's working on this? That never happens. <laughs> you might come in and be like, I'm for real? Like, how many songs does she need? Well, they really only need one. And it's literally 20 people sometime trying to get theirs to be 20 people up. writing on one song? For sure. Sean Garrett kind of shared that with us. It's like a whole bunch of people and they're just like fighting for that chance fighting. to get on the uh, album. And, and be Dummy. How many points did you get from Cardi? This is legal stuff. Okay. Legal stuff. Okay. Uh, but it was it nice? Was it a no, nice? No, no. And let me clarify. The song session that I did for Cardi, my verse didn't get put on that album. Okay. So I didn't get no points from the Cardi, but I was a writer on the whole project. But my particular... The entire project. No. So, and it don't go like that either. Okay. So basically... When they came to Atlanta, they put the Atlanta writers. They had sessions for her in California as well. They do this with not just Cardi, all the artists. You know, mm -hmm. I don't want to just single her out, but um, in the Atlanta writing session, it was about 11 of us there. I knew then, like, I hope I just get a sentence on this song. I didn't know coming in, it was going to be that many people anyway, but this is the game. So um, I didn't expect in that situation, seeing London and seeing all these big people, me even really getting a point on the record, if anything, I would have took the money at that point. Dummy. How many hourly fee or was it a oh, flat mm -mm. fee? It's a lump sum. Okay. You, just for being there. Just for being there. Okay. You can get paid from for your writing? label to just come and be a part of the the session. session. Typically, that's not going to happen. But some people have just been like, I'm just here giving y'all ideas. I'm not going to get no points, but I want some money off of this. Mm. And they be the ones that you don't see the names on the thing either. A lot of the big mega stars have had like five people that I know wrote a lot of them hits. If you look, it'd be like two names on the song. And that's not true. It'd be like five of them that wrote that song. Mm -hmm. But the big dogs that had the big Rockefeller label or so-and-so, they're going to shine and they're going to be the ones to get all the credit. Then you'd be having smaller people like, well, I was just thankful to be in a room. I left with some money. I didn't get a long-term deal like y'all, but I got a couple thousand. I'm cool. Child, when it comes to Detroit female rappers, y'all are 0 for 2 because this is the second one that's backpedaling and pussy popping to Belka Nana. At the end of the day, she didn't have to bring up Cardi B. Um, it's quite clear she felt some type of way about not being on invasion of privacy. She should have just kept it cute and say, yeah, I ghostwrite so she can get more, you know, artists to have her pin game. But they probably not going to choose you, sis, because you talk too much. And quite frankly, we knew that. And I don't 
don't understand why Bel Kanana is acting like she wasn't all for Ghost Riders and now she's trying to push it like her pin game is strong. Child, make it make sense. But let's get into another love it hip hop alum outing Bel Kanana. You feel dressed up. So, you know what I mean? So I, it's Cunner, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, my dad? So I can really, really get into it. But when I tell you they was playing the worst beats ever, it was so bad I had to call one of my homies who's a rapper. I'm like, nigga, am I tripping? Are these beats horrible? They was playing bad beats. It was so many, like, T's. But I will say that Cardi B was a robot. She talked to me after them before. And, and, and it was just literally polit politics that had nothing to do with her. But I wrote some shit for her. It was like, they be like, Cardi B this. <clears throat> My bad, the spicy joint. <clears throat> they be like, Cardi B this, Cardi B that. But don't forget to mention Cardi B got plaques, bitch. And that's plaque, plaque on plaque. Just drop my baby now, I'm back. Oh, yes, I'm back. This is the return of the bees. Took a break from hip-hop and on maternity leave. Six months later, culture dropped. Now I'm back with it. Left me with the wolves. Now I'm leading the pack with it. Qu quick snatch back with it. Yeah, my ass still fat with it. Nigga cheated, I ain't mad. <laughs> Ain't nothing like divine intervention. At the end of the day, Bel Kanana never went on that 24 karat tour. She never took off after press and money because her husband was cheating. Can you believe she literally stalled her own career into actually building a real fandom, solidifying herself in hip hop as someone that could at least pretend to take serious because she refused to do the work. She's one of the laziest hip hop artists out there. I saw what Amy Luciani had to say, but at the end of the day, play with the devil and guess what? You get spanked. What did you think she was going to do with that private conversation, girl? You had all that smoke for Rennie Rucci, Erica Banks, and all the other girls who don't write their music, but you out here on Beyonce's internet doing interviews talking about Cardi B was the biggest artist you got to be in the writer's room with. Girl, you talk too much, and to me, it's giving you a hater. Now, Candy... I don't know why you thought she was going to use that, baby. She can't keep up. She can barely speak English. And so all the girls who are in my video about hip-hop and Cardi B not being hip-hop and growing up on it, I get it. She lived in the Bronx, but let's not play like she wasn't listening to Selena, Celia Cruz, Ricky Martin, uh, Gloria Estefan and them. She don't know nothing about hip-hop. Hence why she hasn't dropped the second album. Can't create anything. She doesn't understand the atmosphere. Once again, Nikki was correct. But y'all seen it. And as long as I'm here, y'all always gonna get the receipts, honey. But what are your thoughts, Bays? What are your opinions? Comment down below. I gotta go. Bye, hoes.